So, hi, my name is Silas. I'm from Community Health Academy of the Heights. And I'm in Blue Staff NIC program. So, this year I got the chance to build um, a robotic arm for my main project. So, my robotic arm consists of two bases. And the bases are two servos with HS 6, 645 MG and then also consists of a gripper base controlled by two servos independently and, the, and also the bottom base are dependent together controlled by a, a potentiometer which are connected to the breadboard. So each potentiometer control one servo, but except for one which controls two of them. So my arm is powered by a 9 volt battery which is connected to this battery holder and then connected into the Arduino. So at first I started out by wiring cables into the Arduino on the breadboard. At first I didn't know where to connect the wire. So the power and so then I asked my instructor and he, he told me to make it on the side corner of the bubble which I wasn't doing, I was connecting it in, to the middle part. Afterwards I connected both power and ground onto the side of the bubble and the signal was in connected into the Arduino. The servos pins were eight Six, four, and two, and the uh, potentiometer were connected to the analog pins in A0, A2, and A3. So, if I get a chance to build my arm again, I'll probably um, keep the drill, drill pin from the drill because I had to screw my platform into my base and platform into the platform by hand which was in, was a difficult thing I had to do and also I struggled while connecting these wires and these screws onto to the servo onto the arm because they're small and I had to use tweezers and screws so and we also made two bases for the servo because the arm had to be level so it wouldn't bump into the lower platform which gives it stability while it moves and that's my project but I'll show you how it runs So this one will open and close the gripper. This one will move it up and down 180 degrees. And this one twist the arm, the gripper. And that's my project.